photographs up on my six blades in England. Um, already, what I'd like to do is not only remind everybody of what happened to me um, at the tail end of 2011 um, in terms of a gift from someone from miles away and then from someone almost as far away and then a gift from someone else as well um, yes you could all make me out to be the luckiest guy on earth um, I certainly felt like it opening things like this and I wasn't expecting that either so uh, to say that I feel blessed from not only uh, knife makers which these these here and here were done but also from a guy who's just churning out these cool videos uh, Bruce here um, but I've, I've had something given to me that has nothing to do with YouTube at all but even though I, I still want to share it with you because you know if there's anything good about humanity I want to let everybody know about it um, so anyway it's, let's just show you what I've been given so let's put these to bed a minute there we go uh, and as you all know I work in a school and the one of the guys who deals with the maintenance of the building is X forces and we've got on pretty well and helped each other out here and there and everything else and he's sort of vaguely aware of the crazy things I get up to at the weekend um, anyway he was issued with a piece of equipment and never actually got to use it so it's been in his attic for 15 years now this guy was in the Corps of Royal Engineers so obviously he served his country but he looked to me when he saw he had some at the he thought he didn't have as much use as what someone else would and he hasn't kept it for himself and he's actually given it to me now and I all know what happens when I, I pick things up from, from people that sent me gifts I start choking up and yeah there I was again um, so here it is guys and girls he's given me this which is the military sort of survival knife thing it is amazing look at the markings punched into it 1997 so these sort of cut the rivet things bash with the handle and he asked me the next day have you started changing the edge I honestly don't think I'm going to change the edge much because it's got all this coating on it I'd like to keep it as original as possible, but what I will do is you should be able to see there the handle's just chunked on really quickly and effectively. So I'll just dress those scales down a little. I'll keep the sheath as it is for a while. I mean, that's left handed, but wow. <laughs> Had to share it, guys and girls. What, what a monster little blade. Look at it. I mean, this thing's like a, I think they call it the sharp pry bar or something, or the, the crowbar with an edge. It is beasty. Look at the thickness on it. So, once again, um, I'm blessed. Once again, I don't know what, where to put myself. Um, very, very fortunate guy. Um, and it just goes to show that my choice of doing my thousand subscriber competition in the next week or so this is what it's all about goodwill to all um, you know I, I send out the little things that uh, I can get away you know fire steels here or tiny little knives there um, I got plans to do a couple of special things obviously for people that are deserving but once again I feel there's a debt to society because this is amazing so that's my latest gift from a guy at work. Why? Thanks for joining me again. Scott from Wessex, please.